G'day mate, how you going? Welcome back to the Green and Gold Life. If there's any bloke living the dream, it's this guy right here. Taking the old coal cast for a strut around the yard with the little girl following me in hand. We got a uh, full growing season ahead of us and hot dang, we're gonna enjoy it mate, eh? <laughs> so, I think I've got issues mate, eh? I've gotta go and see LAN, so Lawn Addicts Anonymous. Um, what started out as just a little bit of a little bit of a mo with the girl turned into dragging out the whippersnipper <laughs> and getting a little bit serious. So I thought, man, I just need to give myself somewhere to mow away. So that's what I'm going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to take this spot up by the house and we're going to start looking after it. Yeah, I can't look after the rest of the yard, but hey, say la vie. So what we'll do is we'll start to cut it off where it gets really soggy, somewhere where I can't really be stepping. So for me, it's roughly where this retaining wall butts up to one another, right by that plant down there. Somewhere where I'm standing, right about here is where it starts to get a little bit moist, <laughs> a little bit damp. So what we'll do is we'll just cut this off here. So um, I had a, quick, uh, had a quick crack with the quail cast, as I mentioned earlier, and when the sun was out, man, it was striping up a tree. So what you see in here probably doesn't do it justice because I went and, <laughs> went and just edged it all and like blew all of the snot into there. So what we're gonna do, Probably drag out the mass port, mate, eh? Just hoover up some of this snot, um, clean up the edges. So I've got somewhere to mow, man, eh? Because I am absolutely itching to get to it. So the front yard, we'll go out and have a look at the front yard in a minute, actually. So that's not quite there yet. I reckon what I'll do is, because we've just had about 30, 40 mils worth of rain this week, what I'll do is I reckon next week, I'll give the front lawn a dose. I reckon I'll give that a little bit of end just to wake it up. And, uh, and, and start to get it rolling. So I've got something to look after while this dries out. So um, that's my plan at the moment. But yeah, let's, let's just tidy up this spot up here first and see if we can't get a mow on. So, as if the addiction doesn't get any worse, look at what I picked up for nothing off the side of the road, mate, eh? So the old Rover Thoroughbred, man. It's a wicked mad unit, mate, eh? Well, I don't know why old mate was throwing it out. Sure, it's a little bit crusty here and there, but it's got a 4.5 horsepower Briggs on it, man, eh? So, she should sing me a song. Um, I'm in two minds about what to do with this mower, so I am trying to put together a, uh, a uh, slashing mower by the time Renault comes around. We'll see how we get on. So, um, I really kind of want to keep this and do it up, but I also kind of want the 4.5 horsepower for another um, for another mower. So leave it in the comments down below what I should do. Um, essentially, there's nothing wrong with this hurdy gurdy man. Eh? When I picked it up on the side of the road, I checked it for compression. All it wanted was a couple of liters of fuel and a rip, and she went. So let's get started, eh? <laughs> So the old Rover's done an excellent job, mate. Look, 
I don't want to start the Honda bashing too early in the season, mate, eh? <laughs> but this Hurdy Gurdy put me old 216 to shame. I'm going to get rid of that thing, man, eh? It's a pain in my butt. So, um, yeah, the old uh, 4.5 horsepower had, a, had plenty of go to get through some of that. So, cheering. Uh, it has collected about three quarters of a catcher. I reckon the other quarter sort of leaked out here. <laughs> but I suppose we can always put a little bit of fly screen or something back in there and choke that back up. That's okay, don't worry about that. <laughs> so uh, what I might do now is just sort of clean up around here and then get the old quad cast back out because I'd love to cut some single doubles this side of the Renault way. You know what I mean? So I just got to have something to, something to really play with, you know, just to start scratching that itch, mate, because I'm getting itchy. <laughs> Rightio, it is wicked mad good to have a spot to mow again, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's less than ideal, I'll admit that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still good nonetheless though, mate, eh? <laughs> so, let me run you through it. Got a little bit scalpy down here. Yeah, I know, I know. Not real good. So, the problem there is, hasn't really got any green leaf to photosynthesize with. Sort of start to waking up and start to wake the plant up, but... It's gonna get a hell of a lot worse in about a month's time, mate, eh? So I'm not stressing it. Yeah, it's not ideal, but I'm not stressing it. And uh, there is a little bit of disease around. Hopefully gonna get on top of that in the next week or two uh, when the chemical arrives for that. So um, I was gonna show you, you probably won't be able to see it from here because the sun's gone away, but it was striping up a dream in there, man, eh? <laughs> so the quail cast is actually striping. I, now I was, um, I said it in last week's video, I was quite skeptical as to whether a quad cast was going to stripe up a warm season variety just because it's not as heavy and it's not a ryegrass but um it's, it's doing a good job i think once we sort of start to get a bit of a pattern going and and burn them in a little bit she might work so um one thing while i was doing that i was just thinking is this going to affect my renovation so typically when i do my reno um i get one or two mows in, one or two mows in rather and then i go straight for the scalp so in that instance, I've always, I've always got like plenty of height left and I can dig a bit out. So I'm wondering whether that's going to limit how much stolon I can get out. So by the looks of it, I don't think so because there's plenty of stolon over here. So the reason I haven't really removed much out of here is because I walk through there and push it down. But over here, there's still plenty to come out. So I don't think there's anything to be concerned about. Moving on. So uh, what I want to do is get to Wintergrass Alley again. I know we've been there in the last three or four vids. And uh, we're going to today as well. So what I want to do is uh, get a little bit more weeding done in there by hand. Uh, I don't think we'll be out at long. I'm thinking maybe 20 minutes, half an hour, something like that, because I just noticed a few more plants pop up. I want to get them in. And then what I want to do is actually top dress it a little bit. Because next week, I'm going give, to give it a little bit of an application of, uh, of nitrogen. So um, just to sort of start waking that up. We're not going to dose the whole lawn, because like I mentioned before, I've got a little bit of an issue here where it's, it's so wet I can't actually get in here with a lawnmower. So, but what I want to do is because I've just gone absolutely ballistic in there, I actually want to start encouraging some lateral growth as best I can. And uh, what we'll probably do is just dose down there and dose down by the cubby house because it's looking a little bit ratty. So um, that's the plan, but uh, I can't do it this week because it's just too wet. So yeah, that being said, let's start weeding. simply too wet in there to do anything else mate eh? so I'm, I'm giving it away fair income there is standing water up up by the retaining wall in front of the uh in front of the compost bins there mate eh? she is wet i've seen it wet before but that's wet wet so um i have sort of top dressed a little bit of a section where i think i can encourage some lateral growth over the next couple of weeks but essentially until that dries out mate i'm not going to do any more so it might be um, environmentally irresponsible of me as well to get out some uh, some nitrogen at this point as well, because there's a high likelihood it's just gonna leach out, get into the waterways and um, create a little bit of algal bloom. So I don't really wanna go doing that. What we might do is see how we get on next week. If there's no standing water at a minimum, we'll think about maybe trying to do some kind of like foliar application, but by no means will I be putting out any granular at this time, mate, eh? that'd just be so silly. So. We're going to let that sit there and see how we get on. So I think we'll call it there, mate. Eh? It's just simply, to, oh, yeah, hang on. Before we call it quits, let's jump out the front and have a look there, eh? What have we got going on here, kiddo? It's, it's space, and I've joined the astronaut. Oh, 
We've got some astronauts down here. And I, and what did you write up there? What have we written up there? Patrick's driveway. Oh, and I made a bit of a mistake and went Lillian's and. Lillian's and. Oh, well, we're getting there, oh, mate, aren't we? <laughs> here we are out the front, out on the Tiff Tuff. And it's not bad news, mate, eh? Like, it's... I mean, it's bad news, but it's not bad news. So, um, look, it is still a little bit ratty. We still have those stalks from the old um, seed head. And the disease that was here has completely died off. So what we're seeing there is scarring. Um, I was going to try and get a little bit of um, fertilizer out here today. But I think we'll just give it a spell. It's still a little bit wet underfoot. Um, you probably can't hear it, but it is still a little bit damp. So it would be still a little bit more irresponsible to get some nitrogen out at the moment. So I reckon we'll put it off to next week. And then I've got this to mow as well. <laughs> Hopefully we can try and wake it up with a little bit of N and get it rolling. But yeah, um, so what we're seeing there is a lot of scarring. Um, that disease is now inactive, so um, hopefully we can tidy that up and get it rolling ready for a reno in about a month's time or so. Alright, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. You guys do me a wicked mad favour and take it easy. I'll chat you on.